Uh, Sam Howe is now a sophomore and one of the best quarterbacks in the ACC. He'll have Daz Newsom and he'll have Bo Corrales, I believe, still to throw to. And he's also got that powerful running back tandem of Javante Williams and Michael Carter to back him up in the run game. So at least on the offensive side of things... Got some big-time playmakers there again, and you know that uh, they had a lot of the games that they lost were very close, too, and specifically speaking about the Clemson game. But Miles Dorn, uh, I believe, is a guy, a big-time safety that uh, gave Clemson fits and gave a lot of other teams some fits. He is gone, and so is Jason Strobridge, who's in the who's going to the NFL, going to be in the NFL draft coming up. Uh, so that's a defensive tackle, a big-time defensive tackle, big-time safety gone, but they still have that be everything, do everything Isaiah Simmons Jr. in Chaz Surratt to just destroy Mm -hmm. offenses uh, and disrupt offensive game plans. So I believe that with a strong quarterback and with a second year under his belt and Mac Brown continuing to, as we can see, recruit very well. Um, yep. It's going to be difficult yep. because they do have to beat a Virginia Tech team that I think is going to be very, very good. But I could see this team being a nine-win team. I could see this team fighting for the ACC championship game. And North Carolina Tar Heels are not going away. This They're not uh, just a basketball school. They are definitely making a big-time, strong push for, to be a football school again because they used to be. And they used to be back when Mac Brown was around, and he's back, and he's doing good things. Yeah, he definitely is. I mean, he's recruiting really well. He's done a good job. I didn't know if he was going to be able to kind of handle it when he got back, but he's done an awesome job so far. Uh, they're another team, yet another ACC team playing a big game. Uh, they're playing Auburn in Atlanta uh, this year, so and they're playing uh, Central Florida away as well. So it's going to be really, uh, really neat to kind of see what they've got. You know, can they match up with Auburn? Can they get, you know, ACC, that coveted victory against a, a Southeastern Conference team, you know, SEC, SEC. Uh, it would be really cool to kind of see that even – and I, I don't pull for North Carolina by any means, but, man, with the, you know, the kind of propaganda machine of ESPN running, it's really hard not to pull ACC versus SEC. Um, you know, their, their home ACC games, Georgia Tech, VT, Pitt, NC State, their road ACC games are Virginia, Duke, Miami, and B.C., you know, all six losses you talk about, close losses last year, touchdown or less, which is an insane stat. You know, Clemson knows all about it for sure. Um, and, and you were talking about the returning wide receivers. They got their running backs back. Uh, I think uh, Diami, uh, Diami Brown is another guy they got coming back who had over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns last season. They have a ton of firepower, uh, especially when you have a guy like that at quarterback. You know, I don't want to overhype Sam too much, but he had a great year last year. So I think he's going to do a good job this year. I don't think they're going to have any problems scoring. Uh, the issues are going to be on defense and, you know, whether Mac Brown's able to replace these guys. You mentioned Strobridge and Dorn is gone. They also lose Dominique Ross, who's a linebacker. Um, and they all, all lose Aaron Crawford, another DT, actually, who had, you know, from what I looked up, even, you know, better stats than Strobridge. So they, they lose a lot on defense. It's not going to be easy to replace these guys at all. But, again, I have written in my notes, you may have said these exact words, they bring back the heart and soul of the defense, you know, Chas Surratt. So that's a big deal. Um, you know, he had uh, – he was a former quarterback, by the way, that converted the linebacker. You know, he's 15 tackles for loss, six and a half sacks. Uh, those are great numbers at the linebacker position for sure. That's, that's really good things. Um, you know, they're going to rely on Jeremiah Gimmel at, uh, at linebacker, redshirt senior last year, sack leader Tom and Fox at defensive end. So they've got some they've got some pieces to work with. Again, we know we talked about how Mac Brown has recruited, but I I want to say I'm not going to give away any of my final rankings for sure. But I definitely have North Carolina as one of those uh, that could compete at the top for this division. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to join our live show every Monday night at 8:30 p.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it.